Hey, thanks for joining us. I'm going to talk about the five ways, methods, and sources to find investors for your acquisition in 2024. Before we start anything, if you like this video or my content, hit that subscribe button right now. All right, let's get on with it. So here, here's how I'm going to go about this. I'm going to start with number five down to number one, and it's going to be like that game we used to play with the parents. Hey, you're getting hot. You're getting cold. No, no, you're warm. Hot, 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 burning hot. It's gonna, it's gonna scald you. We're gonna start with number five. It's kind of a colder thing, and this is these are investors, accredited investors that can help you fund an acquisition. But now, before you send anything out to an investor, you need to have a good deal under LOI. It can't be a deal you're looking at. It can't be a bad deal. It has to be a good deal. What's a good deal? A good deal is an enduringly profitable company. Healthy margins at the top and at the bottom, and it can handle debt. So most of your acquisition costs are going to come from an SBA loan. So let's say it's 90%. It needs to have a great debt service coverage ratio, a 1.5 or greater. That's a good deal. Also, you need to be a good operator to be able to take over the business. So before you even go out to these investors, you need to have those two conditions, a good deal under LOI. All right, let's get into number five. Number five is called Founder Suite. It's a tool I've used for years because it has a direct connection to Crunchbase and all the investors on there. Let's go over to that. All right, here's where I'm going to share my screen over to Founder Street and take a look at this. Uh, it's a website, a collection of accredited investors. So the first thing I'm going to go I want to go to the investor database. And what I'm going to do is type in name or keyword, which is acquisitions, and spell that out. And from that, I have 3,989 results. So that's a lot of people out there doing acquisitions. It could be small, it could be a large. But I want to find this very specific type of investors. And that could be, it's not going to be accelerators, not so many angel groups or angel investors. It's going to be family offices. They'll invest in a, a deal. It could be private equity. It's not going to be venture capital. We can see there, it's not going to be lenders. Uh, so we got two there. Uh, let's talk about, oh, by the way, I got to hit, I am not a robot. I'm going to confirm that. And I've got over 445 offices here. You can see there's a lot of, uh, you know, Wimmer family office, Arena family office, all kinds of family offices here that I can reach out to. Now, you can get in touch with these people by reaching out to them right here. But what I would do was copy Wyland Capital, take it over to LinkedIn, see who's in management in there and then start reaching out to them. You could either send a connection request to talk about your offer, or you could you can warm up your relationship by following them first. Uh, and if they're doing a lot of posts, you can start commenting on their posts to kind of warm that up. Uh, so LinkedIn is very powerful with that. You could also try X or formerly Twitter. So uh, that is number five. That is the coldest one because it's all of a cold outreach. So let's go to number four. Number four. Number four is LinkedIn. I've been using it for years. I found a lot of investors here. And this is also sort of cold because you, if they're outside your connections, it's definitely going to be cold. But if they're doing business, if they're investors, they're going to be on LinkedIn. They have over 750 million people on LinkedIn. So if I, I can type in investors at the top, I could do a search for first connections. And, you know, with me, I've been using it for a while. Like Kevin Peterson comes up. I've had Kevin Peterson on my show. Jonathan Clues, he's an investor. We talked about he's running a $5 million company. A lot of investors out there that have companies, sold companies, or just made money some other way, and they might be investors. That's a good way to reach out to people is find out their investors make a connection request, or follow them first and see what they're posting, comment on their posting so you can kind of warm up that lead. That's number four, and you're getting a little bit warmer from the cold, which is the founder suite. All right, so let's get a little bit warmer and go to number three. 
Number three is Search Funder. It's actually a social media platform for search funders. It could be SMB investors, it could be intermediaries, it could be uh, lenders, and it could be private equity firms. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to sign up for this. If you're not already on it, you got to put a credit card in. If you post frequently, they don't ever charge your credit card. But once you're into it, you go to directory right here, and you're not looking for searchers under role. You're looking for investors. And here you go. Looking for investors. There's a lot of search funds, a lot of investors out there. Like here's the first one right here, Kevin Ramps here. I've had on my podcast. He invests in large middle market, upper middle market companies. So he's a big investor that may be invested in your opportunity. Uh, you can either reach out to them right here uh, under the notes here. You could just send them a comment, ask them if they uh, invest in your type of acquisition. Or you can go, go, go over to LinkedIn, make the connection, and uh, reach out to them there. There's also another way to utilize this or leverage Search Funder, which is if you have your opportunity under LOI, you just signed the LOI, you're working on your deck or your teaser, upload it to Search Funder to the group. Now, that is sort of a direct solicitation, but since you're in the pay network, you can consider these your close friend. I'm not an attorney, so don't take my advice. Make sure you check on that. But let me show you something. If we go to deals right here, click on deals. These right here are all individuals that are looking to acquire a company. They need capital to acquire the company. Okay, so let's take a look at this one right here. Search and investments to acquire defense industry. It's in manufacturer. The guy's name is Christopher Duncan. He's doing revenue of $11 million and an EBITDA of $3 million. And you could see that, let's bring this up, and it gives a little bit more detail about how the business is. And if you want more information like the teaser or the pitch deck, reach out to him directly. So this is kind of cast in a wide net, uh, just seeing if anybody responds. You could see here that at least four people have actually responded. Just sent you a note. Yes, I'm interested in a family office. We'd love to connect on this opportunity. So so that's number three, Search Funder. Definitely use it. Now we're getting a little bit warmer, which is called SMB Junction. Now, SMB Junction was started by a guy named Bed Tiglar. Not 100% sure how to pronounce that name. I may have just butchered it, but he just started a, a platform allowing other investors in the SMB acquisition world to get together and take a look at deals. He says he has over 550 accredited investors. Uh, there's over 400 million in capital available. And they look at one to two deals every week. So how you do this is you're going to have that good deal. You're going to have uh, very specifics about that. And then you're going to enter a lot of information about what you're looking for. First name, last name, type of equity investor you're looking for, uh, total amount desired. That could look from $50,000 to a couple million dollars. Is your deal under LOI? Like I said, should be under LOI. If it's not, it's not really a deal yet. You're not really raising capital. Uh, you got a business acquisition, date signed. Here's why they're asked that. If you're at day 85, of an LOI uh, and you haven't raised the money yet, it's going to be very difficult to raise you know, a couple million dollars in five days. It just doesn't happen. Uh, have you been approved by your lender for a specific deal? Yes or no? Most of the times when you get a deal under LOI, you've already reached out to a number of banks, SBA lenders, and they pencil the deal and they say, yes, we're going to give you you know, 70% or 90% of this. And what that means is this deal is good cash flowing. The, uh, the cash flow can handle the debt. They'll also ask you what type of sponsor you are. Are you going to operate the business? Uh, what kind of a minimum uh, investment, maximum investment? Maximum investment, you know, they're asking that because the bigger the investment, the more power the investor has. Then they're going to ask you all kinds of information about the business. And once that goes out there, it go, it's a, an email is kind of sent out to all these investors, and they'll respond or not respond to you if they're interested. 
I'll tell you, uh, I have a student and we submitted a deal through this. We had a number of people very interested in the deal. It was for an RV park and uh, the numbers were great. Uh, we had a number of people interested. We had anybody from real estate agents that uh, made a lot of money to fa uh, ex Facebook engineer to somebody that owned a company and sold it and had a lot of money to invest. So you can run the gamut of all kinds of accredited investors and then you submit it. So that is getting warmer. Now, Ben Tiglar, if I pronounce his name correctly, is not a broker dealer. So he's not getting any commission to do this. This is kind of a free service right now he may be trying to get his broker license so he could get a commission not a hundred percent sure but that's number two and that's getting very very warm almost to hot but not yet just yet let's go off to number one which is called main shares it's a fairly new platform that is a registered broker dealer network and they have two levels here it is a paid service the first level of pay gets you access to accredited investors. They'll help you put your documents together and make the pitch look good, and they give you access to investors. Very similar to SMB Junction on the first level. Now, they've got about a couple hundred here uh, of investors, and they'll take a look at it in the same kind of deal. Could be an ex-Facebook engineer, could be a real estate agent, could be uh, you know somebody that's bought and sold their company looking to put investments and in other, you know, jockeys, let's say. Uh, that's the first level. Now, the second level is is the broker-dealer network. You, you do pay more for that. Once you pay for the next level, you get access to 10,000 or more investors through a broker-dealer network. This is really, really casting a wide net, and you're allowing a broker-dealer to do a lot of the legwork for you. Now, I'm not saying this is free. and In this case, you got to buy your way in to get this. Now, it's the same kind of deal. As soon as you get to the broker-dealer network, you're going to have a great teaser. You're going to have a pitch deck. It's going to be a, a good deal. Uh, it's going to go out there, and they're going to invest into it and ask you more questions or not. That is the hottest of them all right there. So that's all five. But which one should you use? Guess what? All five. You got to cast a wide net when you're trying to raise money. You can't fall in love with these investors, so you just got to have a big number of people to go to. It's got a, it's a numbers game with the investors. And don't fall in love with any one uh, because they could take you all the way to the altar and then drop out. But you're going to use all five to raise capital for your investment. But remember, before, before any of that happens, you need to have a good deal under LOI. And if you have any question about that, need any help, you know, make sure you reach out to me on LinkedIn or YouTube or uh, dealflowsystem.net and happy to help you with that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe.